Aren't you sure about what it takes to run a successful business and how to gain a following, some customers, clients, audience that is wanting what you have to offer? I was completely clueless back in 2011 when I first started in entrepreneurship. And I'm glad that I've learned the right way to do what it takes and to acquire that knowledge in order to run a, a successful business that is giving me more time and which I can have more fun with as well. So in this episode 122, I'm going to share with you six elements that you need to implement to include within your business for it to be successful and have the life by design that you desire. So stay tuned. Hey, hey, Thierry here from ThierryVAlexander.com. I help entrepreneurs, network marketers, and affiliate marketers to attract the best qualified leads into your business so that you can monetize your brand much faster, easier, and while having fun along the way. In this episode 122, I want to share with you six elements that are going to help you to figure out what is it that you need to, element, to include within your business six elements that you need to include in your business for it to be successful and for you to have more fun to build it and run it as well running an online business can be easier than a traditional business yes however there are some principles that must be included there are some non-negotiable that must be applied within a business for it to run successfully so for you to put all the chances, the positive chances on your side to have a successful business, let's dive together in those six elements that are going to help you out. The first element is attention. Yes, that's right. Attention from your audience is needed. So you've got to be consistent at being present online so that your audience is giving you their attention by looking into your content and expecting you to be there. And just so we are clear and on the same page, I'm not saying that you've got to be physically present at all time, right? There are systems and tools that you can use to avoid that. However, you, you cannot be present for one week and then gone for five. The inconsistency is going to kill your business or at the very least, avoid you to take off the ground. So you've got to be consistent. And you may be telling me, you know, Thierry, I'm not able to ensure that I can constantly be there at all time. And I understand you, life comes in the way. We have everything that happens. You know, a last minute event can happen as well. The thing is that you've got to find the fire from within you. There's, you know, no, and, and then use some tools as well that are there to help you put things on automation so you don't always have to physically be working in or on your business. You can do it. The second element is awareness. Who are you? Consistency is going to bring awareness in your audience's mind about your brand and who you are, at least to see you. Yet sharing who you are with your audience on a regular basis and what the brand stands for is going to help you and help them to build more rapport with one another. When an audience has built enough rapport with a brand or an individual, this is when they are most ready to take the next step in order to buy from you. So bring awareness, be consistent at doing so and share your story, your values, who you are, what you stand for so that people can relate to you much more easily. The third element is the understanding of what you offer. There are some people out there, even some influencers that have big followings, big viewers, big subscribers, amount of subscribers in their list Yet they're not making, you know, a lot of sales, although they have a lot of views, a lot of likes, a lot of comments. So why is that? Why can you have so much engagement in one way and then on the other side, not have that many sales? What, what is the problem about this? Well, it usually comes down to two things. It's either because there is not a, a well-explained description in the bio section or 
a misunderstanding of the audience, not knowing who they are serving. We've got to be clear on our audience. People follow brands, individuals, others that are knowing what they do and what they, what they provide to the marketplace. You've got to know your audience, what you offer, how you're going to deliver it to them. And then so that will make a huge difference. It will and as you know, each and every single week, I'm also giving you access to a freebie of some sort, whether being a challenge, a guide, a cheat sheet, maybe sometimes a one-on-one -on -one coaching session, whatever it may be. This week, because we're talking about the elements that are helping you to move the needle within your business, making sure that it is a success and also to communicate with your audience better, more consistently, I've decided to give you access to a free five-day challenge called Simply, uh, Simple List Leverage. That is going to help you build your email marketing system and make sure that you can communicate with your subscribers, your audience, your followers, your fans, your clients, however you want to call them on a more regular basis, even outside the social media world that you don't necessarily control, hint, hint. So very important to have an alternative that you have full control over and that you own, hence, Email marketing is the key. It's huge, very important to have. And so I'm giving you access to this if you want to refresh your skills, maybe. If you don't know, then that's a great start as well. To get access to this, click the yellow button below this video and that will be sent automatically in your email box. The fourth element is familiarity. Again, if I haven't said it enough, I will say it again and you'll hear me talk about that on a regular basis, consistency is key in everything that we do in life. So show up in all areas that you can show up. Be aware of the trends as well as the features that are helping you to boost your content to the surface. For example, right now, as this video is recorded, Instagram is huge on Reels and Facebook is actually pretty good at Facebook Live still and Reels are also becoming a thing there. So they, here are some areas where you can show up. Maybe you haven't think of. There is obviously regular posts, Facebook, Facebook stories uh, or Instagram stories. You can do lives on all those platforms, Reels, IGTV. Now, do not think for a second that you necessarily have to do content for each and every single areas of the platform that you're performing on. If you are limited on time or even perhaps you just don't want to do that much content, which is fair enough, then just do one piece of content and then repurpose it on all those different areas. The fifth point is likability. When people are, show, are seeing your content on a regular basis, they're going to come to like you. If they stick around you for a while and they're checking your content, they're engaging with your content, it's because they like something about it. Otherwise, they would just purely not check your posts, your Facebook lives, your stories, etc. This is the second phase of the process that you've reached. And that process is the no like and there is the trust aspect of this factor that you need to cover which is the sixth element the trust when people have built the no and like part they are going to stick around a little bit more and most likely you know they're building even more rapport with you indirectly without necessarily you talking to them in person and a trust is being formed between you, your brand and them. When someone trusts you, they are definitely more prone and more compelled to purchase from you. This is where you've got to have those elements, the no like and trust factor. And once more, that is all created by being consistent. So you see as everything comes together, in conclusion, and very simply put, 
It is just a matter of focusing on your audience, making sure to be of service to them on a consistent basis and show them that you care. Build that know, like and trust factor so that they are going to buy from you, stick around and rebuy from you and be regular clients creating a retention within your business. And remember, I'm giving you access to the free Simple List Leverage Challenge, which is going to show you how to set up your email marketing system and also write your first email to your audience for them to actually build that rapport outside of the social media and also buy from you in that channel. So click the yellow button below if you want to get access to this free challenge you'll get access to all the five days immediately they're all recorded for lifetime access and you can dive into it at any time i even take it again from time to time to review myself uh, to review my strategy and and whether i'm on point with everything because the more we review the more we repeat the better we get at mastering any given tasks right question of the week what area of your business do you feel stuck let me know in the comment section where do you feel stuck what is it that i can do to help you out what sort of content can i put out there for you to help you on your journey within that entrepreneurship ro uh, road and what type of freebie maybe you you may want to to get access to download or some challenges master classes let me know in the comment section and i'll it'll be a pleasure for me to put this together for you thank you so much for tuning in this is a wrap but i will see you on the next episode bye bye, -bye.